Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobi Puting, and I wanted to take a quick look at an Android app today called Smart Bar. And what it does is it'll add an icon to your uh, notification bar that lets you pull down and open Smart Bar. You can actually uh, create notification areas for any of these different things. So, for example, search, uh, quick exit, which will close an app, uh, the ability to end all applications except for the one you're currently on, show recent apps, etc., so that you can pull down your notification bar and fire up any of those activities. But let's take a quick look at some of the other things it does. For example, from the main menu here, I'm going to click Task Manager, and it'll show a list of running applications that I can kill, I can check several of them and kill them, uh, I can kill all of them, uh, etc. Now, there's some debate over whether or not it actually makes sense to have a task manager like this for Google Android. The operating system is supposed to manage your memory um, on its own, so it'll kill off processes or suspend processes that you're not using. But if you start to notice that things are getting a little bit slow, this might be something that you want to look at. Let's go back to the main menu, and I'll show you the quick settings, which is actually something that I'm, uh, I find really useful here, um, which lets you see at a glance how much battery life you've got left, how many apps are installed, how much space is on your SD card, and how much uh, main memory you have. And then you can also toggle different things. So for example, let's toggle the brightness, make it brighter, and make it dimmer. You can toggle the uh, wireless, uh, turn Wi-Fi on and off. You can adjust the uh, GPS, Bluetooth, uh, data, although when you click data, it'll actually open your mobile network settings, so it takes a couple of clicks there. Uh, synchronization, auto-rotate, so whether the screen moves when you uh, rotate it. Airplane mode, volume, it's really nice having the volume here because uh, it takes too many clicks if you ask me normally to get to the volume settings and so forth. And so you can also, uh, in addition to making the main menu show up, you could set it up so that when you pull down, you just click once and you get to that quick uh, uh, settings. And actually I'll show you how to do that in the smart bar settings here. There's just a checklist. So say you want to have access to quick settings. Do that. Save. And now when I pull down, I can pull up quick settings with a click. Let's go back to the main menu here. There's also an application manager you can pull up, and again, you can add this to the drop-down menu. It's not that different from what you uh, you get if you have if you pull up the app drawer or use the 3D program launcher in uh, and the Nexus One. Um, but the neat thing here is you can add applications to a favorites list, or you can pin them to the status bar. So I'm going to go ahead and pin to the status bar. And now, when I pull down status bar, in addition to the smart bar main menu and the quick settings, I can launch that individual application that I wanted to load. And if I want to unpin it, just press hold and click unpin this time. Um, if you want to do favorites, There's nothing in my favorites app right now. I believe there's a setting here that I can. I think you go into smart bar settings, select favorite applications, and then I can click uh, any applications that are among my favorites. Just grab a couple at random here. And now, when I go back to smart bar, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> show favorites, you should see a list of favorites. So again, if you wanted to, you could add it so that you could pull the drop down, click, and see favorites. Um, you know, that's of questionable utility considering the Android home screen is perfectly customizable and you could add favorites anywhere you wanted to, but um, just the amount of features that you have here for smart bars uh, is pretty impressive. So, um, you know, for nothing other than the quick settings, I think it's a pretty useful application, but if you uh, want to be able to add a task manager, uh, see a list of running tasks, uh, pin certain items to your notification bar, um, you know, these are all things that you can do here using the um, uh, smart bar application, which is available as a free download from the Android market. You can find more information at Mobiputing. This is Brad Linder with a first look at Smart Bar from Mobiputing.com.